Poland's Mateusz Sokowicz in Action Sunday. Edgar Su, Reuters, what's crazier than doing an Olympic luge run, which involves zooming feet first down a windy, icy chute at up to 90 miles per hour. Doing an Olympic luge run, without a visor to protect your eyes. Hey, at least Poland's Mateusz Sokowicz had the rest of his helmet on. And it's probably worth mentioning that the weather in Pyeongchang has been notably frigid, even by the standards of the Winter Games. So the wind rushing into Sokovic's exposed face Sunday had to be awfully, awfully cold. Speaking to Poland's Przeglad Sportowy, Sokovic said, the weather that evening was, really cold, even without speeding along in a luge. So I put on a coat, he said. Then I lost my protective visor somewhere. Mateusz Sokovic appears very happy to have survived his visor-less run. Andy Wong, Associated Press, I didn't realize it until the moment when the green start light lit up. What could I do? I took off without the visor. I traversed the whole track nearly blind, but on the whole it turned out okay, although after the ninth turn, I made another mistake, said Sokovic. So it's probably fair to cut Sokovic some slack for finishing 31st in that run, after posting the 29th and 19th fastest times in his first two turns. It might also be fair to ask the nine men who posted a worse time in that run, what's your excuse? One man who performed far better was Team USA's Chris Mazza, whose second place finish in the event made him the first American man to win an Olympic medal in singles luge. He also earned a gold medal in understatement by saying of Sokovic as mishap, that was not by design. You want the face shields on, especially when it's cold. Mazza continued. Not only does it help aerodynamics, but it quiets the sound. I mean, if you're sticking your head out of a car going 75 miles per hour, you're not going to be able to drive the car. So, especially with these crazy race conditions, he made it down, I can't believe he did that. That must have been the most terrifying realization on the handles to be, like, okay, let's go, and you're like, oh my god, agreeing with a questioner that it would have been like downhill ski racing without goggles, Mazda added, that is something you do not want to do. But it's the rules, you don't need it, but I highly recommend it. According to Przeglad Sportowy, Sokovic admitted that he'd already got in a stiff scolding from the Polish luge team's head coach, Marek Skowronski. Rick Mies and Zofia Smuds contributed to this report. Read more from the Post. North Korea sent cheerleaders to the Olympics. Here's what they're saying. The whole thing could just pop off. South Korean figure skater battles wardrobe malfunction NBC's Olympic tape delay has the internet pretty riled up NBC's Katie Couric is in hot water with the Dutch, who really don't skate everywhere.